Tell me about food growing up in Chicago. Did somebody in your house cook? Yep. Uh, my dad cooked. Uh, my stepmom cooked. Um, I had a lot of nice home cooked meals growing up. You didn't cook. Nah, stay nah. out of the kitchen. Just call nah, me when it's ready. <laughs> what was your favorite dish growing up? Man, some pot roast. Definitely some lasagna, some soul food. Yeah, I feel that. Some fried chicken. We're gonna make some uh, some salmon. We're gonna marinate that. Our kind of like a deconstructed sushi roll. We got some salmon. A little bit of this. Got a little barbecue sauce. Anytime you get to learn from somebody who's an all-time all great, there are different nuances that you will pick up from those people that you won't pick up from other people. What kind of things do you learn from somebody like that? I think one of the biggest takeaways from just observing it and being being in the locker room with, with a great like LeBron that's been playing for 20 years is how, how he take care of his body. Just to, uh, so I can play for years and years, you know what I'm saying? And now, what, what are you excited about? So you're still pretty young in the league. Yeah. What are you excited about moving forward as a, a NBA player and just as a person, like as a professional? Like what are the things that excite you? Every day is new excitement just to be able to play yeah. and and perform on that stage. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That gives me, it gives me butterflies every night. Well, maybe this is something you could add to your pregame ritual because this is super easy, it's super fun, and it's super simple to make. We got a little bit of dark soy sauce, we got some sesame oil, a little bit of seasoned vinegar, um, barbecue sauce, which I just wanted to add because I'm yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Why okay. Not? okay. And then now we just gonna put a little bit of honey. All right, there we go. And so with with the NBA, right? Yeah. Are there different lessons that you learn within the league that you think that you'll be able to take with you beyond? Just the lifestyle. Just take it, just my health. Okay. Uh, my overall health. Okay, let's have Health is wealth, that. man. Overall, okay. overall health and um, how the, the, the importance of sleep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The simple things that, that may seem simple, yeah. is really important. And, and being able to play at a high level for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, you're gonna take this, right? And maybe let's put a couple into these different holes. So we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna take our finger and use that to just put it into each okay. little hole like thus. Okay. All right. And I'm going to take this bowl and put it into this one. But that that's that's another thing that I was able to take from sport as well. Like whether it's flavor, whether it's uh the dish that I'm making, I don't go into a scared. I feel as though it's an opportunity for me to express myself. There comes a point where you say like, "Wow, like I'm a expert at my craft. Once once basketball ends, what is something that you think you would do? Is it, now you in Hollywood, is it acting? Is it, you know what I mean, is it producing? Yeah. What is it? Like, what is that other passion of yours that you think you'll tap into? First and foremost, uh, definitely be a, after my career, full-time dad. Fatherhood, how, how, yeah. how is that too? Yeah. yeah, you father of two? Yeah, father of two. I got two mini me's. I believe it. You know what I'm saying? So, I believe it. <laughs> It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. um, maybe like uh, just coaching my son. Mm -hmm. I may go into be a chef, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Part-time chef. So if any of you athletes need a um, home-cooked meal in the future. Kendrick to catering. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that, on the spot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, since you a caterer, what you think I'm putting in this bowl? What's this? That's mayo. OK, what about this? Hold on, you could try it before we put it in, just so you can. We're gonna start to uh, to expand your palate, so when you start your catering company, you know what you're putting in people's uh, bellies. What's this? Hmm, close enough. Woo! Yeah, no. I didn't tell you I don't like spicy. Oh, my bad. Damn! I puckered that butt. Oh! <laughs> puckered oh. that booty. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh! Put a little bit of vinegar in there. Loosen that up. All right, we good, we good. We good. There you go. That's dangerous. Yeah, it got you. It got me. You should try the hotter stuff. That's definitely going <laughs> to throw some good touch flavor on that, though. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is just go around the top. Little mayonnaise, little sriracha, 
a little bit of vinegar, right? Inside of here, we just got the nori, we got the rice, we have our salmon that we marinated. Yep. We baked these in the oven about 400, 10 minutes or so. I know. You know. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Just sprinkle the top with some sesame seed, uh, a nice finger lay. Okay. Sweet, sweet finger lay. Yeah. And so which one you want? I want the biggest one. That one looks good right here. Yeah, it does. I like, I like my this. name on that one. To your catering company. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is good. Not my salmon. I need that. I like that. I feel like this is something that you can make for anybody. Get yeah. a little bit of that heat. It's not as spicy as when you eat it alone, when you add it with something like right. mayonnaise. Yep. Sesame seed is a mm -hmm. nice crunch, and it gives you some flavor. And then, whenever you add sesame oil and you add mayonnaise, it gives it that creaminess that Papa likes. What about you? You like it too? I do like it. Yeah. It tastes like rice and salmon. Mm -hmm. it tastes like sushi. A little seaweed under. <laughs> it tastes just like sushi. Simple, quick, delicious. Something like this is super simple, it's quick, it's easy. Great idea for last minute game day. If you're running behind and you need something quick to make, bam, we got you.